Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to use the variables and parameters in SSIS package when we are dealing with FTP connection and we need to save a username, password and remote path and local paths for those packages. Now let's think about it. We are developing an SSIS package that need to move from one environment to another environment. We do not want to change the package itself but we want to pass the values by using the configuration the way we pass the values by using configuration is a parameter or the variables in old versions we were using variables to pass the values by using configuration but in SSIS 2012 and 2014 we have this new concept of using the parameters so the package we have a package parameters and we have project parameters now let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and then build the package and use all these parameters and some local variables to handle these different situations. So we can change these the values of these parameters in different environments by using the SSIS configuration and we do not have to change our package at all. Now click on SSIS Packages, create new SSIS package let's rename this one and call it a FTP connection or something whatever you like next uh, what we are going to do instead of uh, creating a variables here we will be creating first uh, parameters and now the parameters uh, will be FTP server and it is going to be string uh, and it will hold uh, the value for our FTP IP or the FTP name server name we paste it here next uh, we need the username that can change in different environment and uh, here I have Amir as of now next uh, we can change the parameter uh, password in different environments that's so we are creating parameter as well here I have Najaf 1982 that's my password and then uh, we can change the local folder as well where we want to download those files and here I'm providing some values as of now let me open one local folder take the values from here copy paste the path here and the last one remote folder from where we are reading those files so remote folder and uh, this is going to be string as well and uh, this is a let's say it is sales or uh, actually let me archive so these are the parameters that we are using in this uh, SSIS package we cannot write expressions on these uh, parameters if I click here and go to properties I do not see any expressions here now let's use uh, these uh, parameters uh, in SSIS package uh, to read uh, the files from FTP and load to the local folder go to control flow bring the FTP task here and here in the parameters actually I want to read all the files from this folder so I'm gonna put asterisk dot asterisk so that tells us from this folder archive read every file of any extension go back here so create a connection first of all let's create a connection here and then we'll use those parameters let me copy the IP and paste it here now you have to provide the username and password test the connection fine hit ok and now we will be first of all let's ignore this part and come back to connection and configure this one so it can use the parameters right click here go to properties and here in the expressions let's go and change some properties so first of all we are changing the server name so in the server name we will be providing FTP server so if I my server name change and I will use in the configuration for this package parameter if the value will be changed this is where it is going to be saved and then used. now next thing if username does change so we have username server username and then the value should be coming from the uh, user name package that's our parameter and then we have 
let me see we have uh, server port if we want to change the port on different uh, environments that can be possible as well and uh, then we have password I'm looking for the password it's uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to <laughs> find server password right here okay so we are using the package par uh, parameter password here to set the value of these one so three are done and still there are two parameters uh, they are left uh, with the local folder path and remote folder so let's go back here make use of them as well now we want to receive all the files from those uh, remote folder and put into the local here we will be saying is the local uh, path variable I say yes but uh, it is asking okay I don't have a variable here so let's see if it is uh, letting me select uh, the local folder directly from the package parameter so it did let me select uh, so even uh, it is saying is local path variable it it will let you select the package parameter so you don't have to it it should be seen actually is the local path variable backslash or a comma or whatever pack or package package parameter or a project parameter it didn't say that so it is just telling us is local path variable yeah so but it will take the package parameter or a variable so whatever you have it here overwrite the file yes and then here we have to provide a remote uh, variable so we can go ahead and provide the remote folder and hit ok we are all done we are using all the values from the parameters and we didn't create any variable but if we want to create the variables we can go ahead and create the local variables here and uh, let me do one thing let's run the package now the package ran successfully it downloaded some files to this folder let's delete those files and uh, come back here actually instead of just deleting it uh, let me go back here I will go to the oh, sorry here if I go to test folder now if uh, somebody go ahead and change the value in the parameter by using configuration and uh, once they will change it what happen they will change to the test folder if they will change to the test folder they would do not make uh, any change uh, in the package itself just the parameter value did change by using the configuration now if somebody run this uh, package on any environment by using these values uh, we can see that it downloaded all the files uh, but uh, the files were lo downloaded from the test folder so that's how you will be taking a look this is a local folder and you can change the path of the local folder as well if you want to create a new folder here let's say I will say my test folder now if somebody go ahead and change the local folder path by using the configuration this uh, all the files will be downloaded to that so you don't have to make a change in the package itself but these values will be coming from the configuration so these parameter values will be coming from SSIS configuration when you deploy your package set the configuration and then you can change the values there in SSDB and that's how you will be take controlling the folder path server name username password and everything so now if you run this package it is going to download the files to the my test folder so let's go back and here you can see that all the files came here so and if I delete this one and now I go back and if I like it here now let me make uh, some small changes here before I uh, run it uh, one more time here if you see that remote folder if I'm using it I, I cannot make changes here whatever the value here now if somebody let's say only give me this uh, folder and then I want to use the variable I can go ahead and use the variable I can create a variable and I can call this one var uh, remote folder and then here what I can do I can use the parameter values and write expressions so depending on some uh, conditions if I want to change the values and uh, maybe just uh, download the text file or PDF files or all that I can use the main folder but by using the in the inside the package check in some condition and change the value for this var remote folder variable so I will use this main remote folder 
and then here I can add expressions maybe I know by using another variable and I can say asterisk dot txt only so I uh, this is my choice and I can put backslash here and uh, this is going to download only the text files so hit ok and here I come up to the FTP task and instead of using this package parameter I can use the variable so var remote variable so from main configuration you will be passing the values to the parameters and then inside the package you will be using the variables and you can use the parameter values on and write expressions on the variables and use those parameter values and uh, that's how you will be doing it so may think about uh, developing a C sharp or VB application you pass those values for connection manager and uh, other main uh, folders and everything from the uh, configuration file but inside your uh, code then you use the local variable so that's how it is those parameters they will be coming as a configuration uh, from the SSIS and inside your package you will be using the local variables and using that, that configuration and uh, you know that's how you will be working now before that we were having only variables and we were writing uh, we were using the, using them for configuration we were also using them as our uh, local variables but now from 2012 and 2014 we have a concept of these parameters where configuration will be coming from those and we will have local variables that we will use that uh, and we can write expressions on them and uh, whatever we need to do Th uh, so one more thing let me start this one and uh, here let's take a look uh, what we have here in the uh, test folder so if I go back here I just want to show you one more time run the package and if you go back here now you see only the .txt files are download because we have changed the values by using expressions on that uh, variable and it is selecting only the .txt files so if we want to go ahead ba back and we can change the expressions and uh, whatever we want to do it can always be written but these values will be changed uh, depending upon some conditions uh, you will be checking maybe load files for Asia looping through something and changes uh, values uh, not asterisk dot asterisk maybe just a uh, file starting with A or B or C and all that so you started I just want to show you you can write uh, expressions on the variable by using the parameters and some hard code values and then use them in your SSIS package as combination with the parameters and variables so if you go back here we see that now we were selecting asterisk dot asterisk that will give us uh, this uh, PNG file as well so thanks very much for watching this video try to you know explore these parameters and uh, variable write expressions on the variable by using the parameters and uh, um, one more thing I would like to tell you here we use the properties and in the properties we had a server uh, password but if you are using old versions you would not have this property so you have to use the script app task to set the server uh, password for FTP and then you can use the variable and pass that by using configuration but here in uh, 2012 and 2014 we have this uh, property server password and we can use the parameter to pass it thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video